welcome to Life with Belsif. I'm your host, friggin' Belsif. Just so y'all know, I'm driving the Chevy Silverado again. So if you see my TikTok video, I had a little ground issue on it, did. I had a little ground issue that we had to do, and then I had a little vacuum leak action. I changed the spark plug wires, the knock sensor, the cam sensor, the O2 sensors. I did a tranny fluid change, oil change. So the Chevy Silverado is back to mint. So far, so good. But. On the way home today, I happened to be going through Kimlachi there, baby. Got myself some free wood. So that wasn't too bad. It's not the greatest wood. It's only popular, which is garbage, but it's good for bonfires and stuff. So I figured, what the hell? I'll snag her up, Captain. So I snagged her up, and we're just gonna unload her when I get home here. And I'm just gonna put it in the front yard because I have a bin right there beside the house. If you can't see, it's empty. So I'm gonna put it right there, yeah. So we're gonna back her up right to there offload this shit right now so it's not in the back of my truck for two months because that's what i do let's just back right up into the dirt where i'll probably get stuck oh yeah freaking right it did there we go captain beautiful freaking right that's beautiful hey you you need to get out of here you actually might go back further because that way i don't have to climb over that thing let me know when i'm almost there would you <laughs> They said let me know when I'm almost there, would you? I should take that out first. Watch your head. Captain, look at it all. Little wood. Just call me Little Wood, Jim. Tell you what, you think I was breathing heavy in a video that you just watched there a little while ago. You should have seen me loading this shit. That was a breathing video heavy deal. Big time. This was my camp and wood supply. So the trailer was here. And then I could just unload and put it right on my trailer. But now that uh, I probably saw my trailer, this is just wood in case I need wood. Nothing like some wood in case you need wood. I'll tell you one thing, being here, she's gonna dry up, that's for sure. Careful. Man, oh man, she's getting cold out again. Oh, winter's back, by the way, just so you know. It was spring yesterday, because you know, you can work outside with a t-shirt on. This morning it was spring, and then this afternoon it turned to winter. Tomorrow's supposed to be real winter, like minus six or something. And then Sunday, it's supposed to be back to summer again. So that should be pretty good. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Careful. Whenever you're stacking wood, make sure you stack it so you can fit lots. Don't just throw it in there because then you uh, won't have room for it all. So you always want to make sure you try to stack meat. If you know what I'm saying. Ow, my knee. What is wrong with that knee? It's either my knee or my elbow or my shoulder. You probably can't even hear me from the wind. Frick. Hey, you're just all over the friggin' place today. Make it remind where you want to sit there, Jim. Careful, doing a wood dive. I think we're gonna fill this thing. Maybe, oh yeah, we're gonna fill it 100%. Especially when I'm stacking it like that. Oh well. Hey Eugene, I gotta bore that log splitter I sold you there shortly. I got a couple big logs here I gotta split. Captain, that was a deal, remember? Give it to you for a good deal, and I can bore it whenever I want. What kind of deals I like. Friggin' right it is. You ever sell something you're not sure if you wanna sell? Make sure you sell it to a friend so you can borrow it back. That way you make money on it, plus you can still use it. It's kind of a win-win really when you think about it. There we go, I did it. Yay, that was easy to unload. Kinda. Telephone poles. Here we go, Joe. Yay. Now we just gotta take these two big bastards and get rid of them in the backyard. I gotta move you up. I was gonna leave on the tail, but I can't. You stay there.
Decent. Oh, there we go. We got ourselves some more wood. We got a running Chevy Silverado. What more can you ask for? And it's even kind of clean. Freaking right. I'm gonna end this video here. I got some vent windows to work on this weekend. So maybe I'll take you along for the ride on that, but we'll have to see. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification if you like this kind of stuff. It's not really much, it's just kind of getting things done around the house, if you know what I mean. So, glad you're all here. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and we'll see you on the next one.